before we begin and I tell you about our t today's essential question, what does a civil engineer do? Nick? Design roads. They design roads. Do they design anything else? Um, they design bridges and houses. They design bridges and houses. Those are called structures, things that are made. Looking at this picture of Javier and his sister, what is the structure here? What was made? The bridge. It is the bridge. This is the structure. Now, what happened to the structure in the story? It broke. It broke. It, broke. it collapsed, right? Well, what caused this structure to collapse? The weight on it. Bingo. Whose weight? His sister. His sister's weight. That is something we call force. Force is invisible. You can't really see it. But it's the pull or push against a structure. Now, if we look, her weight, is that a pull or is that a push? Push. Push, because her body is pushing against that item. What forces do you think are happening here on this building at Barca School? Matthew. Mm -hmm. How? Because, because people upstairs are stepping and I push the whole thing down. So you're talking about the different levels of floors, not just, so you're talking about the roof, then the second floor, then below. It's pushing down on this structure. You're exactly right, Matthew. This is our essential question that I want us to think about. What are some forces that act on structures and how do civil engineers design structures that can withstand these forces? So we're going to talk about that. You have a challenge right now. I want you to make this index card stand up on its own without bending the card and only using one finger. You have a few minutes to try to problem solve that. I have, I have an idea. I got it! Aw, oh, man! That's really interesting. Hmm. I was making observations walking around, watching you folks try to tackle this problem. One solution that I saw a lot of was using our finger to hold up the paper and the index card as best as we can, correct? Was that working for some of us? Yes. Okay, let's identify some of the forces that we see here. Molly, what is pushing? So let's look here. You guys just told me, you folks just said to me, the finger is pushing. You're exactly right. That is happening. What else is happening in this picture? Nick? That the index card is trying to balance. Oh. What do you, can, let's look at that a little bit more. What do you mean? Where is it trying to balance? It's trying to be on the edge of balancing. It's on the edge of balancing. Is it pushing against something? Yes. What? Your finger. Wow. That's really interesting. Yes. Gravity is pulling it down. Oh, so look at the index card down here. Knowing this, let's bring our attention up here to this structure. So look at these columns. I'm placing the columns here. I'm going to put the roof on top. Works pretty well, don't you think? All right, so what is the force happening here? Talk in your houses for a moment. It's holding on top and pushing it so the paper would stay on. Otherwise, if that wasn't there, it would be in the air. The air yeah. and the gravity would be pushing the down. What is the force? Angela. The one on top is pushing down. I love that explanation. So we're talking about this level here is pushing down against what? Columns. The columns. Good job. You're right, it is pushing. You're, anything else? The middle is like falling down because there's nothing to support it to stay up. 
So you're making an observation that, there's, that the ceiling on top is falling down. Let's make this a real world problem. That's really interesting that she mentions this. Let's add some weight. So let's pretend this is a building and we have our people here, correct? Any difference? OK. What are we noticing? What's happening so far? Jake? Um, it's kind of going, the, it's kind of going down um, a little bit. The, what is going down? The roof or the floor? The roof. The middle. It is kind of going down. Oh! Oh! I want you to now look at this. So here's the action. So we noticed that weight caused the center to fall in. So what's our problem that we have to fix here if we're being civil engineers? Kaylee? Maybe you should make it stronger? So the problem is, is that this is not strong. Is that what you're saying? Our structure is not strong. Structure not strong. What's our solution? How can we fix this? Yes. We could fold another piece of paper, put those two posts where they were before, fold another piece of paper, and put it in the middle. All right. Here's your other piece of paper. Come do it for me, please. Your other column. Let's see what happens. Let's test it. It could work. Let's find out. We it barely held three before, right? Well, let's find out. Okay. So did it support more than we had before? Yes. So being civil engineers, we do need to look at that problem a little bit more. But I like your solution by adding a column to the center. You guys did a really nice job with that. Give yourselves a round of applause, please. Let us now talk about our next structure, which is the tower. Here is a replica again of our tower right up here. So let's look at the structure now and see how, how it will handle itself. Yeah. Raise your hand if you think the structure will stay. Raise your hand if you think the structure will, might begin to collapse. Oh, no. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> it it's like the Leeds Tower of Pisa. Imagine yourself, exactly, Ernie. Imagine yourself right now in a building that just shifted that far over. Oh, man. During a windstorm. Oh, no. What are you thinking we need to add here? The cables. Some cables to it? Oh. Is it holding it up? Yes. Very good. All right, my friends, you've done an excellent job today with this problem. Tomorrow, we're going to come back and we're going to revisit these idea of forces and start doing some more hands-on, all right? I like lesson two because it gave the students a visual about other type of structures, what exactly a civil engineer could do, and ways that we can try to solve it and use materials a little bit differently. Because when you have the, the index cards folded into columns or piers, that's another way of looking at it, or seeing the straws and the paper clips as holders, that's another way of looking at material a little differently. And in fact, it was just very funny because my students became materials engineers during that activity. And I just thought that was, we were able to bring that in to how materials engineers and civil engineers kind of have to work together and think like each other for a little bit. Yeah.